Now to more local news here at 6 tonight. You know, boating is certainly a very popular pastime in the Ozarks. The one problem, though, is that most boats don't have restroom facilities. So a local water quality group is hoping to address that issue by putting the restrooms directly on the water. Color 10's Crystal Blair is live. She caught up with one of the group's leaders to see if something like this could actually happen in the Ozarks. Restrooms on the water, Crystal. That's right, David. And I'll tell you, that local organization is Ozarks Water Watch out of Kimberling City. And they got this idea from Arkansas, where their Department of Health teamed up with Greer's Ferry Lake to put these floating restrooms on the water there. And of course, the idea was to make it convenient for boaters, but most importantly, to help keep the waters clean. Floating toilets are anchored in the middle of the lake and they cost about $60,000. To tie up and, and go on shore, which is where most of the restrooms are, it, it, you got to have empty dock space and, and how do you keep your boat from floating away and you've got a lot of problems. David Casaletto, executive director of Ozarks Water Watch in Kimberling City, says he's been talking with local marinas. I know State Park Marina said they might be interested, and uh, they have a pump boat. So uh, if, if it all the stars all align, maybe we'll get one here on Table Rock Lake. Let's face it. When people have to go and they're in the middle of the water, they don't always take the trip back to the marina. Casaletto says the floating toilets will need a pump-out boat. You have to have someone, uh, probably a marina, that has a pump boat that can come by, pump out the tank, and then take it to the appropriate uh, uh, tank and get it to shore and then take it to a treatment plant. If someone's going to be able to maintain them and clean them often, I, I don't see it being an issue. And for one boater I caught up with, a floating restroom is a great idea, especially at this stage in her life. My husband's 81, I'm 76, and the couple that goes with us is 84 and 70. And that would be great because you have to go to the bathroom more often as you're older for the elderly or anybody that's even handicapped. You know, if they need to go, they need to go. And Casaletto tells me that they are hoping to get a grant to fund these floating, re floating restrooms. And if they do get that grant, he says they're hoping to have them maybe on Table Rock Lake next summer. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. What a thunk it, right? Well,